Rocky Lawyer thinks he can tell me how to do my job. That's enough. Mr. Justice, we need clear contradictory proof from you. This witness of yours, unknown to the prosecution, I hope you're right, failure carries a stiff penalty. Perhaps a stiffer penalty than usual is called for. Oh, what? There's no backing out now. Let's hear the name of your witness, Mr. Justice. Lammy! I could actually call her Lammy Raw, but no. Just Lammy will do. Siren of the Ballad. Lammy? I recall Mr. Uh, Mr. Two's last words. God, we're just replaying the same scene over and over and over again. The witness is Siren. Oh, set, set, Siren. The Siren, aha, he meant the Siren. That's right. The Siren of the Ballad. Lammy. Lammy was the only one, or was only on stage for the second set. And she had access to the backstage area. She could have been a witness. I see. Well, Prosecutor Gavin, my claim still stands. There was no witness to this crime. <coughs> Very well. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth then, shall we? We will now take a break from Detective Emma Sky's cross-examination. Cross Please show Lemmy to the witness stand. Lemmy would say nothing the night of the murder. Not today, though. Today we'll drag that story out of her no matter what it is. Alright. It is my distinct honour to welcome the Siren of the Ballad to our courtroom. You are too kind. Ah, you can speak English? Yes, yes I can. Though I am not very good. There is much I do not know. You speak so well. Have you spent time here before? Actually, I do not know how I came by my knowledge of your language. Nor where I studied it. She's lying. What does she mean she doesn't know? I too thought to call her as a witness, but I did not. I had a reason, of course. What's that? Lemmy suffers from amnesia. Oh, how fucking fitting. Ah, how convenient. Jesus, really? Come on. So many cliches in this case. The blood name being written next to the victim's body. She somehow just seems to suffer from amnesia. What's next? That she's actually the killer? Huh. Lammy is not my true name. It's Deborah. Yeah, I remember nothing at the time before I was given it. Nothing at the time before I started singing on stage. Well, she's even more mysterious than I thought. I think this is all just an elaborate lie. As lauded singer Lammy, she lives a good life. There are little difficulties from for her, thanks to her success. Yet, I did not wish to subject her to unnecessary stress. Well, aren't you a knight? We don't care about making, you know, things lovely for people. We care about the truth. Hmm, I see. I care surprisingly little about people's pasts. You have nothing to fear in this court, Lemmy. Thank you. Yeah, there is something I do not understand. I am being called as a witness. What might I say? No one will tell me anything of what happened. Lemmy, let me be frank. I did not want to ask you up here to testify. Yeah, that young gentleman with the wide forehead over there was adamant that you stand. Oh my. Congratulations, Apollo. You're the bad guy. Ugh. Wow, I made out to be the dickhead. How did this happen? Well, now that you're here, please give us your testimony. If nothing else, the sound of your voice is welcome. Tell us what you saw the night of the crime. I saw nothing. <laughs> I have amnesia. What I saw. As for what I saw, I saw nothing. Oh wow, I could probably predict what she's gonna say. That night I was invited to, to sing on stage, and this I did. I, do, I did not return backstage after the second set. Then I was led by the police to Mr. Gavin's dressing room, and told to wait there. That was where I learned that something had happened, but I wasn't told the details. Okay. Sheesh. Wait a minute. Hmm, must say, you sound wonderful just testifying. I hope he was too distracted to hear what she was actually saying. There you have it, she saw nothing that night. Now we can only pray that the defence has the sense to admit defeat, and refrain from detaining her here longer than need be. Oh, you just got better, Apollo. Way to go! Yeah. Very well, Mr. Justice. Keep it short and sweet. Lammy wouldn't talk to me the night of the crime. She must know something, and I've got to find out what. I don't know if pressing stuff will be, like, uh, if I'll be penalised. So, I'm just gonna press, because I know what I need to present. 
because she said she didn't go backstage. If that's the case, how did her brooch just somehow happen to end up in her dressing room? Or is she going to say that she lost it? But no, she couldn't have, because she had it on during the second set. Is it in this? Yeah, it is. She still isn't wearing it, which is rather weird. Although I suppose it's because it's evidence. Yeah, I found out the crime scene. Boom. Bitch. You lie. I'm sorry, Lamy, but I'm having trouble believing you. You remember this brooch, do you not? Why, why, that's Lemmy's. She was wearing it for her song. Care to add that to the testimony, Prosecutor Gavin? W what This brooch was found after the murder took place. At the very scene of the crime. What? Haha. <laughs> ah, fuck, I love these games. They're so good. Lemmy, how did your brooch get backstage if you did not go there yourself? And, as Prosecutor Gavin has just told us, you had been wearing it during your performance that night. That looked like a question mark. What is the meaning of this? Lamy, please explain. <laughs> I have amnesia, I don't know. Lamy. Oh, of course, now she won't speak English. Screw you. She says English is quite difficult. Baloney. That trick's not gonna work here. Really? Your forehead may be large, but you are a lawyer, truly. But, you have missed one important fact. What now? In fact, at the time of the incident, I went backstage, but only for a moment. What? What? Why ain't she speaking English now? Think back to the moment of the crime. You know whereof I speak. Is she really saying all that? What's she talking about, Apollo? Right when the incident occurred, she talking about that? Huh? What's this? Watch this. Oh. Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Right, understood. Want me to make sure no one comes in, right? Oh, we heard the door go. When we were talking to him. Oh, the door. We heard the door. Bugger. So she's going to say that she dropped her brooch then? Ah, oh, screw you. Mr. Latouz, can you hear me? <laughs> Cold! Yeah, we've, oh, we've seen this so many times. I don't need to see it again. The witness is the siren! Why the hell would he call her by the nickname and not just say it? The witness is Lemmy. Just what a way to be real cryptic. Yeah, and he said yipes. If only I could have panned to the left at that point. I would have been able to see if the brooch was on the floor then. Oh well. What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard it all close. I looked into the room. Just a glance, mind you. So this is when your brooch dropped. That explains that. It does. There was no other time I could have dropped it. But that's ridiculous. You only looked in for a moment, and but you dropped your brooch. Her forehead? Hair forehead. She has raised a possibility. The only thing that can counter that is evidence. Hmm. So she looked in at the crime scene. Actually, I, ended, I intended to go into the dressing room. I knew nothing of what had happened, of course. But the moment I opened the door, I heard a horrible voice. Her forehead shouting. Who's there, no doubt? A horrible voice indeed. Yeah. I closed the door immediately. Okay. It's almost like, if she opened the door, heard a voice, and then instantly closed it, it's, she might as well have just thrown the brooch in there. Because it landed pretty far away from the door. Well, that explains the brooch. Let's return to your testimony. That's too convenient. She's hiding something. Lemmy, you did look into the room, though, right? Yes. Testify as to what you saw. Very well. Though it was only the briefest of glimpses. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute, what? Oh, there's a thing. When my wait, when my performance was finished, I went backstage for just a moment. Okay. What, perceive on this? I have no idea where I'm supposed to look. Sorry, I don't mean to look at a chest. Oh, I can't go any further down. I don't know why I was thinking. Aha! <laughs> 
She's suspicious. It's moving. I don't think it's here. I'll try the next statement. Stop. I do like how you can perceive everything and it's no penalty. Very nice. So what's the next one? I saw nothing. The late Mr. Latouz's body was behind a wall. Hold the phone. She would have still been able to see if the doll's there. Yes, it's behind the wall, but only briefly. It 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 cut off. You'd be able to see a head and a hand. Yeah. I don't want to present. Sheesh. Perceive. Blah, 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 blah. I saw nothing. Oh, I can actually see her mouth. Oh. Oh. Ha <laughs> What the fuck? I'm trying to, what the hell is that? Whatever. The late Mr. Latouz's body, I guess. Sure. Gotcha. I do love that so much. Gotcha! Well, you can actually see behind it all the time, I think. The late Mr. Latouz's body, you say? Yes. You know something more about Mr. Latouz's death than you were saying. What? Yeah, you can actually see it. I could see you trying not to remember, but the effort made you swallow. Ah, uh, that's what you were doing. It was really weird looking. You can't fool my eyes. It is true. It was so terrible, after all. Why did Mr. Latouz have to be shot? One moment, Lammy. Yes? What was that you just said? Why did he have to be shot? Yes? She was hiding something. I knew it. Lammy, I'm afraid you haven't realised it, but... Your words just now contradict your testimony. Eh? How could that be? Take this. So Lammy contradicted her own testimony, and I have the evidence to prove it. She knew that he was shot, when she shouldn't, because nobody should have known. There you go. To ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearers hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. And she also acted like she didn't know anything. It's like, why weren't I allowed to be told how he was killed? But she knows how he died. He was shot. The silly goose. Tell me, Lammy. How did you know he had been shot? Uh, well, I... Immediately following the incident, a gag order was placed on the scene. This is the document proving that. In your testimony, you told the court. No one told me anything about the incident. Furthermore, you testified that you had seen nothing. Yet you knew that Mr. Latruz... Uh, I keep wanting to call him Mr. Latruz for some bloody reason. Mr. Latruz had been shot. How could you have known? Well... Ew. York. It was more like Yauk. Yauk? Yauch? Yeah, whatever. What are you hiding? Hmm? Lemmy? You aren't hiding something from this car, I hope. That sweet song of hers was sounding a little too sweet. Ah, now I remember. Oh yeah, how f how convenient. Please allow me to add to my testimony. Of course. All we want to know is the truth. She looks kind of pale, huh? She saw something, I know it. Even the victim said so. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. So I saw bullet holes in the wall and knew Mr. L Mr. Latouz had been shot. But you only went in for the briefest of glimpses, and they were next to the door. You wouldn't have looked in and looked at a wall, I would assume. Yeah, if she looked in, brief glimpse, and then she would have left. She wouldn't have brief glimpse, look at the wall, oh look, bullets. Yeah, I ain't buying that. Nah. Not today. Well, I mean, they call you the Siren of the Ballad. But lies are hardly becoming of such a creature. I love this song, too. I, I, I like the uh, Pursuit theme much more, but this one's also awesome. A put-down worthy of our prosecutor, Mr. Justice. Such put-downs are hardly becoming of you, Apollo. Stop polishing your forehead and stop polishing your character, yeah? Come on, can't I be cool for, a, for once? 
Observe the diagram. Lamy, you looked in from the door for just a moment. Correct? Y yes, that is so. There were bullet holes in the room, yes. But they were in the wall the door is on. Eh? Uh? You see? Assuming you merely glanced into the room... The only bullet hole she would have seen would have been on the one in front of her. But they didn't hit that wall. Conveniently. Lemmy? Yes? I'm afraid the defense has, a ra has raised a good point. It appears you have been holding back something. And I must tell you... I must tell you what it is that I saw. Yes. The happenings in this trial are being recorded. And I'm certain it will be on the news in Virginia. You understand your reputation is at stake. It falls to you to avoid tarnishing it. Personally speaking, I still believe that cross-examining her will yield us absolutely nothing. How do you know, though? But she knew how Mr. Latouz died. And he named her as a witness. You must have seen something, Lemmy. Okay. Very well. Let me please continue your testimony. Very well. I shall. What I saw too. Electric Boogaloo. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, right, yeah. I was about to say, why is there a picture of her here? So, there was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. There were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But it wasn't... But it wasn't Machi. It was a grown person. I know it was. Oh, so now she's actually covering for Machi. That's at least nice. So you did witness the crime. And the killer was a grown person, you say? This is my first time hearing this, I assure you. Nice play, Hair Forehead. <laughs> You're welcome. Very well... <laughs> Very well, uh, uh, Mr. Justice. You move in your cross-examination. Great going, Apollo. You were right about Lammy. What's wrong? You don't look too happy. This whole thing smells fishy. That's what's wrong. Alright. What I saw too. Time to push. A lot. Right, so, yep. So you were heading toward the dressing room. Yes. So, this is a little before she opened the dressing room door and dropped her brooch. Well, at the same time, Emma and I heard those shots. I was on my way back. There was something like a little window there. Yeah, that's how she saw it. Uh, what exactly is something like a little window? Yes, well, it's like a window, but little. Window is the best word in Eng I know in English. I think this is how it is said, yes. You need not worry, Lamy. Your choice of words is impeccable. There is a small window in the dressing room in question. Perhaps the defense remembers this detail. That little window on the wall. I, uh, saw the crime from there. Aha! Uh -huh, the one that says do not open. There were two shots. Couldn't do anything to stop it. You are certain you heard two shots fired? Yes, quite certain. I was on my way back to the backstage exit. This is when I heard a faint sound, like a gunshot. Wondering what it had been, I peered through the window. That is when I heard the second gunshot, much closer. And there were two bullet holes at the scene. No contradiction so far. It all happened on the other side of that window. There was nothing I could do. Hmm. But it wasn't Maggi. I mean, that's a, you know, point in our favour. At the very least, it wasn't Maggie who shot, are you sure? Yes, quite certain. It amuses me that you would question her testimony. It's testimony in your favour. Isn't it my job to object? Yeah, Apollo, what were you thinking? Trucy, let's just listen to what Lammy has to say. Can you tell me how you were so sure? Yes, of course. You see... Hmm. It was a grown person. I know it was. Wait a minute. If it was a, p a grown person... Um... How did they get out? Because as we stated, the only way out would have been the air duct. 
event, even. And only a person, a small person could have got in there. A child. A grown person? That's a little too vague. Not a little vague. I'm adding in words. I am sorry. My skill with your language is lacking, I know. Certainly you could at least see whether the shooter was male or female. It was a man. A young man. And you're sure of that? Yes, his voice is quite clear. Voice? Hmm? Looking at this diagram, it seems the dressing room was quite cluttered. It does seem likely that you... ...wouldn't have had a clear view of the shooter. As a singer, I rely more on my ears than my eyes. When I hear a voice, I do not forget it. What the hell was that? Ding ding! That voice was the voice of that... of a man. So you heard a voice, but wait. Couldn't that have been the victim, Mr. Latouz? Absolutely not. Did I not just say that I do not forget a voice? If it was Mr. Latouz who spoke, I would have known. Hmm, indeed. So, you were at the window, and you heard the shooter's voice. The voice of a young man. Apollo, this is a good testimony. That proves it wasn't Maggie. Indeed. If this turns out to be true, it would cast this case in a considerably different light. What is the defense's opinion on this testimony? It's contradictory. Though it pains me to say this, there's something about Lemmy's testimony that rings false. Bravo, hair forehead. You're colder than I thought. I'm sure you remember what the problem is as well as I do, Gavin. As has been established, no grown man could pass through that air vent. He couldn't have fled the scene of the crime. But, but that means Lemmy has to be lying. I know, and I know it's bad for our case, but I can't shut my eyes to this. Believe me, the idea was tempting. It is as hair forehead says. Yet, this is not the only contradiction within her testimony. Okay. What's... what next? What's he talking about? Lammy? I understand why you would want to protect Maggie. Yet remember, you are the siren of the ballad. And lies did not become such a creature. Ha ha! What does the prosecution mean? Apollo? What's he talking about? How come no one bats an eye when he says stuff like that? He also stole it. I recall the state of the crime scene quite well. The state of the room? Yes, and when the murder took place... That window was closed. Wait, what? I find it hard to believe you could hear a voice through it. Oh. I was about to say, it's closed. You can see through windows, you dumbass. Turns out I'm the dumbass. But... but I... I'm sure. Ooh. Lemmy. I have nothing but the highest regard for your musical sense. But my opinion of you as a witness is somewhat lesser. Jesus. But she's the only eyewitness we have. You're making. So you say. And the victim named her the Siren as the witness? That's right. That's what Miss Latouz... We heard your claim. We even entertained the possibility. And it brought us to this. Her judge? Yes. The prosecution requests that the witness be ex... Oh, I thought it said executed. <laughs> Excused. Please. Hmm. I'm afraid I must honour the prosecution's request. There is indeed a question of the witness's cre credibility. But if Lemmy can't justify, then we don't have a chance of proving Machi's innocence. <coughs> Shit. This cross-examination is over. Prosecutor Gavin, you may continue making your case. Danke. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I would like to hear from Frau Lane Detective again. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, let me hear Lemmy's testimony one more time. Well, the cross-examination is already over. Until such a time as a need arises, this witness may leave the stand. Phew! Bloody hell. I'm sorry I could not be, could not be of more assistance. I apologise. Oh, dear. At last, back to the real trial. Ready, hair forehead? <laughs> I hope I didn't just miss my only chance. Prowling detective, how far have we got? Had we gotten until we were so rudely interrupted? Don't ask me. I just like saying the same thing twice, and I never repeat a song for an encore. If you would, Miss Guy. Hmm. <laughs> I believe I was saying that the only way Mister Latuza's killer could have escaped was through that air vent on the ceiling. Ah, yes, there was only one door in the room. And a witness... And a witness, you, was standing in front of it. 
That air vent isn't very big, see? Kinda limits the people who could possibly get through. I certainly would have... I would have a difficult time. You sure would. Not that you would have been there in the first place, though. Remember, the whole backstage area was off limits to people not involved with the concert. The only one who meets the condition for our killer is the defendant. A virtuoso performance, or virtuoso. I couldn't have put it better myself. Hmm. She does state a clear case. Though reading the report, something caught my eye. Oh, what's that? The circumstances of the defendant's arrest. The circumstances? Again? Hey, that's right. Apollo? Remember when we found Machi? That was bizarre. He was unconscious. Next to the body. She's right. Why did Mr. Latuz's body disappear from the room? And end up on top of that stage tower? Holding a guitar, no less. A perceptive observation here, Judge. Ah, uh, uh, thanks. It was kind of an accident, really. But you work in this job long enough. You get a nose for things. The judge sure, seem, sure seems pleased with himself. Very good, Fraulein Detective. Perhaps you can tie it all together for us. Why was the body moved? And how does that lead us to the killer? Bum 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 bum. Ooh. All right. The missing body. Wait a minute, I still have a problem. Ow. I know, I have a problem with the whole Machi did it. The dude's blind. How would he have known where the air vent was? Well, actually, there's multiple reasons. One, he's a kid. Two, it would have been a revolver that would have, like, broken... bones. And three, he's blind. So, you know. I believe Machi stole the, b the body because of some lyrics. He moved the body to match Lam uh, Lammy's song. No one in this country had a motive to kill the victim. And Machi practically left his signature at the scene. All of this evidence clearly points to the, defen to the defendant. Okay. <laughs> Lammy's song? Yes, the guitar serenade. You notice its code too, did you not? Its code? All the events that day followed the lyrics to our song. First, the keys my heart held onto so tightly were stolen. Then Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame on stage. Mr. Latouse's life was taken by a bullet. The rest hardly needs explanation. Guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. Oh! That's mad! It's like a story out of some fairy tale. Sheesh. Hmm. I admit, I'd forgotten about the song. But there it is now, waiting for me. The grand finale, as it were. Hey, you know, I was the one who first noticed that. I've heard of jumping rope to songs and counting to songs. But killing? It's a wild world out there, Herr Judge. Very well. We've heard one song and dance, so let's get on to the next cross-examination. Oh, the cross-examination. Not so sure I'm going to do s <laughs> be doing much singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more! Who would steal a body just to match some lyrics? I didn't believe it myself, but I can't... It can't be, or can't just be, a coincidence. It is as Fraulein Detective says. Let us begin with the first verse. If you would, Fraulein Detective. What? You want me to sing it? You are the witness, yeah? Or did you want me to sing? I warn you, my fee as a vocalist is not trivial. Fine, fine. Uh, <clears throat> Let's look at the first part of the lyric, shall we? Yeah, we know it's... When you stole away the keys my heart held on to so tight. Indeed, my favourite heart-shaped keyring was stolen that morning. Next we go to the right page of the, of the lyric sheet. Where we find, burning on in my heart, fire, burn my love away, all away. Um, okay. Oh, right. As we know, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. I was wondering why it was taking so long. Like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away, all away. 
Mr. Latouz's life was taken by a bullet. Bravo, Fraulein Detective, you're singing. It's not bad. Now for the finale. Alright, oh, yeah, guitar, guitar, up together in the, to the sky. As it says in the lyrics, Mr. Latouz was in the sky. Was found with a guitar high in the sky over the stage. Hmm. What the fuck? No series of coincidences could be so well conceived. He's right, scientifically speaking. What would Wacky have said? That concert was whack. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Why? It's hard to argue when she pours her heart into it like that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Anyway, the shooter. Hmm. Does the prosecution have any idea why he'd do all this? You want my scientific opinion? No clue. But he clearly had a reason to go through it. Uh, to go through all that trouble. Some deep reason. A deep reason. <laughs> Not only did he steal my keys, he torched my guitar. Unforgivable acts even if he had a reason, and worse if he had none. The diva's complaints aside, I can't imagine someone doing this on just a whim. Foul a detective, I take offence at that description. Indeed, it does seem too well rehearsed, shall we say. Yes, this crime was planned for sure. No one in this country had a motive to kill the, the victim. Hmm. But Mr. Latour spoke English. He may have come to this country before. I looked into that, I assure you. Oh. It was his first time in the country, it seems. Apparently, he learned English on his own. Wow, clever guy. Great. You see, no one here had a motive to kill him, and certainly not in such an elaborate fashion. Hmm, it does seem difficult to imagine. Unless our famous prosecutor did it, did it as a publicity stunt. What did you say? Prosecutor Gavin, you did this to promote your song? <laughs> of course not, and I am quite dismayed by the ludicrous nature of her claim. Why would I need promotion? Everyone already listens to my music. They're even in my textbook at school. And I'd never heard of them. What does that say about me? <laughs> I was just kidding, don't get all worked up, limo boy. My god. Practically left his signature at the scene. Which is, what's his signature? What do you mean by his signature? The bullet holes in the wall, of course. The bullet holes? The revol revolver was fired twice. One shot missed, and left a hole in the wall. And that means what, exactly? That dressing room isn't exactly spacious. Picture the shooter facing off with the victim in there. They can't have been more than five feet apart. It would be difficult, almost impossible to miss at that range. Difficult to miss, you say? Unless you were blind. Very. Assuming the shooter could properly aim. No, you can't be serious. Marchi, he can't see. That's why he missed. It's the only explanation that makes sense. He uses sound... Or used sound and other...